That's pretty cool. We've got a kayak. And then you turn the corner, and boy, do they have. You know the only thing missing here, Sean, is it's a hobbit house. Regularly have a little quartet that comes out Perfect. here. Perfect. And they ask if there was a way that I could turn the falls down. Wow, look at the moss in here. Man, am I jealous. <laughs> you can have a two-dimensional piece of artwork that hangs on a wall, but this is a living, moving thing. So this is the nursery, Sean, that Dan and Maggie found your display water feature at, huh? It is. There's two features here, and one of them is $47.95 starting at, and the other one's $24.795. So it gives a pretty good span of possibilities for a customer. This one's probably the most successful display pond location that we have. Black Forest Nursery in what town? This is in Boscoan, New Hampshire. I love visiting nurseries, and it's Labor Day. Not sure when these vlogs come out, usually six months after I film them. But let's check out a beautiful, two beautiful display water features at Black Forest Nursery. That pretty much says it all right there. Okay, we have a break in the rain. How long have you had these displays in? One of them's probably been revamped once, so probably the first one was in 12, 14 years. Oh, here we go. So just a, something small like this, but listen, listen to that. Listen to that sound. It just changes the space. Lovely. And it's the little details. Look at that, the moss. Oh, come on. Who would not want this? next to their patio just great here's your signs hey okay, nice love it we got prices on it so some people would say five thousand dollars that's way too much and other people would say that's only five thousand dollars but what's involved with building this well i mean it's a living piece of artwork right so amen you can have a two-dimensional piece of artwork that hangs on a wall but this is a living moving thing so there's systems underneath there and so you got a basin in here right four by four basin probably 18 inches vertical height there mm -hmm. so it fits in nice next to a front door entryway yes or on a back patio in a small yard you could do the same thing on a basin and go six feet yeah, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And what size pump do you have in here? I see you got lights. Oh, uh, this is an Aqua Surge 2000 in here. So 2000 gallon per hour pump, basin, lights, pump, liner, spillway, diffuser up at the top, under 5,000 bucks. And some people will look at that and say, for a living art, that's a steal. And I would have to agree. Oh, here's the other one. Huh. It's a beautiful nursery, by the way. <laughs> it is. Suzanne does an excellent job with this. So fun. I love you got like a weeping cherry or what is that? Yeah, weeping cherry in the back or crab back. There. Okay, so see one of the things that is a design element here if those two trees weren't there your eyes would go right past that where this stops it right at the front it looks like it's kind of the center of the gardens huh it is. they have this And there's the pond that we went to last night, Todd's house, when he put that gazebo in. That is as good of a backdrop as you could get for a pond right there. Beautiful. Wow, look at the moss in here. Man, am I jealous. <laughs> New Hampshire. I can't get moss to grow like that in the desert of Utah. This really just blew up with the moss this year. Right, sure, it changes. And how long has this feature been in? This is about 12 years, been around there, 12 to 14 years. And then we redid this probably 10 years ago, just to change it up a little bit. So it's a pondless waterfall. It's got a diffuser up there, so the water just flows up through a little wetland, right? Up at the yep. top. And then we use that in a lot of our builds, whether it's pondless waterfall or pond, we'll do it that almost like a spring rolling up out of the ground using aqua block. Mm -hmm. um, it really looks like a spring. That little wetland. And there's three springs. There's one on the left, one in the center, and one on the right. Oh yeah, there is a third one. I haven't even seen. Oh yeah, very small. This is the art. 
Okay, just a little trickle of water coming in over here, splitting up these rocks and, and coming down. So one, two, three waterfalls. Big basin with how many thousand gallons? What do you have down here? Oh uh, yeah, it's about a thousand gallons. Yeah. A bit larger so this there. is aqua blocks down here. So that one up front was you know just under five thousand. This one's just under twenty-two thousand. But it just shows you what you could do with a pondless waterfall, the different sizes, and obviously this is something more dramatic and just incredible. You know the only thing missing here, Sean, is it's a, a hobbit house. Hobbit house. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at this. It looks like something right out of the hobbit. Oh, as cue the frog, as the frog comes down. The log, yeah. yeah. Build it and they will come. No one put that frog in there. He just has a place to live at this nursery. And I love how the plants are planted right into the stream in there. There's that little side waterfall the three different widths on the streams mm -hmm. kind of gives people a different perspective because you might have a situation where the budget might require the streams to be narrower or shorter and we can build a stream that's maybe only 10 inches wide six inches wide 10 feet long that'll be less expensive than if you had a two or three foot wide stream so it's less flow a little more delicate we put the doser on this system so aquascape doser and it has kept this this pristine clear water that we had and then all they have to do is replace the bag once a month that's that's it. What I love about this is it's a public display water feature. This is what water features should look like. Most of the time that I see a public water feature, it's concrete, it's leaking, it's not maintained. Like Sean said, an automatic dozer keeps this water crystal clear. Okay, so we're still in Hanover since we're a quarter mile from the last job, right? Well, we're very close. We're, <laughs> this is actually in Lebanon. Are you kidding me? But it's like it's just over mile. the line. Yeah. yeah, so we are with Sean Frost from Naturescape out here right outside of Dartmouth College. And this is an old water feature that you put in? Yeah, this the, is probably right around that same area, maybe 14 years ago 14 or so. years ago, and you said it was a retired couple that actually physically wanted to help you build it, and you they let did. them work. It was one of the few people that we allowed to do it, and man, they worked harder than I love to people. hear that. I love this right outside see their kitchen window and then they have that yeah. right and outside the dining room is right there yep kayak outdoor loving people i love it too feels good i love the sedums and they're just a natural looking waterfalls so this is a pondless waterfall that's been here for you say about 14 years or so yep that's about that. i love the moss i mean when you can be in new hampshire you can have moss like that to help naturalize everything it's just spectacular but once again look at the ferns growing on there and more of the sedums that are just growing over the edges. I mean, that is what naturalizes a water feature just like that. And that sound right outside their living room window right here, and it keeps going all the way. And I love that too, because you can't see the source of the water. It come, turns the corner up here a little bit. Is that a biofalls up there? No, no, it's just coming up out of the... So this is actually prior to, this is 14 years ago, prior to now we would put a spillway up here, but it just emanates like a spring coming up out of the ground there. Is this a little wetland right here that you have? Right. I love that log that you put in here. Just so nice.
So a project like this today, what would it involve for Naturescapes? I mean, obviously you've got a basin down there, or you got aqua blocks down there, you got a pump, plumbing, liner, rock work, stream, waterfalls. What would something like this entail from Naturescape? This project, you're probably talking about a three to four day project because there's no machines back here. All, all hand, hand power? Well, which is nice is these are all hand sized rocks. And when you put bigger rocks in, you got to get equipment in. Didn't get any equipment, built this by hand. This would probably be uh, today's price is somewhere between $24, <laughs> 95 so 25,000 bucks and they can have something that will make a lifetime of an impact for now two owners that right. have lived here these guys actually change things up a little bit they both are play instruments mm -hmm. regularly have a little quartet that comes out here perfect and they ask if there was a way that i could turn the falls down uh-huh so i put a variable speed pump on there so they can par put it up for party mode and put it down for playing instrument mode that's it a variable yeah. speed pump fantastic so how do the old owners enjoy this and they spent a lot of time out here on this deck and they had grandchildren that spent a lot of time playing in the stream there's kids i have pictures of playing in the stream that are now adults mm -hmm. so it's kind of interesting to see that whole family grow up around this water feature water loving people i saw this kayak here and i thought oh that's pretty cool we've got a kayak and then you turn the corner and boy do they have canoes kayaks stand-up paddle boards water loving people for sure